Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you a new scent from Karner Barcelona. Karner is already an, a very good established house and the perfume is called Revolution. So Revolution means obviously revolution. So when I saw that uh, Karner came up with a new scent on the market, I said, okay, I got to try it. So as you can see here, I already sprayed a bit of this scent. This is a unisex perfume. It was released in 2023. I found out about this new release. So I got a sample, like I said, and I am very surprised. In the next minutes, I will also explain you why. This is a leathery sweet perfume. Uh, the perfume behind it his name is Benoit 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 La Pusa uh, I thought it's Jordi Fernandez and I tell you why I thought it's Jordi Fernandez because this is a scent which smells like Tuscan leather most likely smells like Vivian London and Vivian London is a very popular scent in these days and probably at Karner they said uh, you know what why not try to get some clients also from that direction yeah, leathery, sweet. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, it smells exactly like Tuscan leather and like Vivian London. In top notes, you'll have orange blossom, oxygen and thyme. In middle notes, saffron, mate, violet leaf. In base notes, leather, Somalian frankincense and Texas cedar. This is a leather perfume, but is made very friendly. It can be, in my opinion, considered as a Tuscan leather or Vivian London light. So if those ones are for you, maybe too powerful or too strong and you're like, yeah, I like them, but I don't know how to wear them or wear or it's difficult to have them. Uh, even if you like them, it's difficult to wear them. Then Revolution Karner is worth a try. After all, that's why I thought this is a Jordi Fernandez scent because Jordi Fernandez has created Vidian London. But uh, the name of the perfumer is Benoit La Pusa. Karner Barcelona is not a clone house so i'm a bit surprised to see that they have launched an obvious copy of the vidian london but why not eventually the creativity only goes this much if you can take a winning formula like a winning scent and just tweak it a little and make it lighter and sell it with a better price because if i'm not mistaken this cost around 160 170 euro for 100 milliliter or 3.4 oz that's a great price uh, tuscan leather is much more expensive than that uh, about twice and Vivian London you get half the size for more money but it will be also more powerful so then it's not so versatile so the longevity not so much sillage from this sample but I also don't expect so much sillage if you would have a bottle but Karner scents if you know them so like D600, Tardes uh, and others they are not very powerful so Karner Barcelona is not a brand that gives me the impression of being powerful or like in your face they are a bit toned down and it's nothing wrong with that they are a Spanish house so they can have their own uh, their own way to create perfumery French perfumery is also not very powerful not very much projecting mainly orientalist and this with the leathery tone with the leathery note it would be somehow oriental but whatever it's light and very versatile it reminds me of ombre leather and in terms of versatility you can wear this all the time because it's a light leather colleagues at work will not be choked by your strong leather scent and i think it's also very nice when you go on a date because it has a very pleasant playful aspect to it it's not as harsh as the Tuscan leather is with this ashy uh, note now it smells a bit like a new pair of shoes <laughs> like a new pair of Spanish shoes, why not? Leather Spanish shoes. You can wear this one in all seasons. I don't think it's just for a specific season. Uh, you can wear, the, wear this dressed up or dressed down. As a score, I would give it an eight out of 10. So eight out of 10. If you love leather scents, this one is for you. Uh, the points taken are obviously for the originality and uh, it's very light. So also performance could be somehow a little better, but maybe it wasn't desired to be very much performing. So you can wear it at all times. That is my take on the new Karner Revolution. 
so Karner Barcelona. Please let me know what do you think about this new release from Karner if you are curious about it or if you had the chance to try it and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Thank you for watching, stay healthy, bye bye!